Hi everybody! How you doing? I'm in live. Who knows? <laughs> Hi everyone. Um, we are trying our best <laughs> to get our new PC up and running with the streaming software. Um, so I'm hoping in a few minutes we'll have some people join us and you'll be able to tell us if you can first of all see me and then um, if you can hear me so let's see oh jasmine's here hey jazz jasmine says hello can you see me can you see my dog <laughs> got, got a bit of a different view tonight only for a minute or two though um just wanted to make sure that you guys can can see and hear me pam is here as well hey pam and stacy hello and Jasmine says that was a snazzy banner I just saw. I thought I know, wasn't it? That was Craig. Craig found that one. <laughs> Amanda's here. Yay! Stacey says she can hear and see, so that's good news. And Jasmine too. Awesome! Stacey says such a cute pup. He is a cute pup. I'm so glad he decided to join us. He probably will leave in a little bit, but that's fine. Jasmine says hello to Craig as well. So Craig, number one or number two? Number two? <laughs> one and three? Let's give us a go. Let's see what happens here. I'm going to do three. Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> okay, going to do two. Hey, look at me. Snazzy, snazzy. So, Marcy's here as well. Hey, Marcy. Hopefully now that you can see my hands and my face up in the up in the corner here um we've got craig setting me up with some fancy schmancy things here so um you can get a little bit more visibility thank you amanda for sharing that in the heffy doodlers um group um stacy says i love you oh no i knew this was gonna happen <laughs> This is it. Um, I love your shirt. Where did you get it? Um, I got it from um online store. Um, uh, hold on. Three. I can't. It's not changing now. Is it because you're fiddling, Craig? Oh. Maybe it's. Um, I got it from an online store called T Turtle. T E E Turtle, and they have so many really really cute um shirts, and they actually have some crafting ones as well. I have one with a crafty fox and everything on. It's really cute. <laughs> Stellar cast by Pam says new one setup. And one and three. Let's give it a go. So one did nothing. Maybe this is one. Three. Hey. So then two does nothing. Is two two's that without my face? Yeah. So one, and then we have three, and then two is just my hands. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how far I actually remember. Yeah, so um, we now have two cameras, two DSLRs, one over here and one up here. Um, but as you regulars will know, um, my camera can time out. I have to press the button, which is not so bad for this one up here. But for um, the one on the other side, it's a little bit more, uh, a little, little bit more of a jaunt to walk all the way around the room. To, um, you know, all the way around to, to get to the camera with a little bit of trip hazards with cables at the moment, but hopefully we'll get that sorted before too long. <laughs> all right. Stacey says, I love tea turtle. Thanks. Yeah. It's my little baking one. All right. Well, let's see what we can get done with some crafting tonight. Have you guys been crafting this week? That's what I want to know. Mm -mm -mm. I think I'm going to make some cards tonight, obviously. And I'm going to start off with the Slimline Mini Mail, I think, and make some little envelopes using this teeny tiny envelope die. Amanda says, we need to get you hardwired, powered to your cameras. I, so I have one of my cameras has a, um, still times out, don't know what that, don't know what that's all about. And the other one, the, the continual power supply has been ordered and it's on its way. <laughs> so I'm going to make a card using 
my Slimline Mini Mill and I'm also I think going to layer that up using the Slimline Gallops Sweet Summer Scallops like a so. What are you going to do? You're going to fiddle. Okay, Craig's going to see if there's a setting. I'm trying not to, to, to ruin other settings. I'm just going to go quickly. I ditch Thimline Trio. Not my DL one. My DL one is the like, European side that I'm going to work today with other sizes so here i'm using um the the middle thighs in our stitch slimline trio and i'm going to then pair that up with the what's this one the middle thighs of the um scallops and i might even add another layer on the inside i'm not sure yet and i'm going to add a couple of little envelopes to kind of make that pop so let's see what we'll do. Oh, I need to catch up on my, my um, comments. Uh, Pam says I made a few birthday cards with my free lawn fun stamp. Yay, that's awesome. I need to make a birthday card, actually. And uh, Stacey says she's crafting right now. Just mucked up a background. Oh, no. I hate it when that happens. She hasn't said five, five cards this week. That's crazy. Uh, all using scrap card and images that you've colored during coloring challenges. They're all from my hop next week. Good for you. That's a really good way of getting through um, those little bits that get lying around. <laughs> uh, Amanda says we've been crafting a new craft room. Yay! The plumbers are <laughs> roughing in my sink now. Can you guys please tell Micah how important a sink is in the craft room? Absolutely. Well, we're having a, a sink in Heffy HQ. Still not able to convince Craig about a sink in the craft room. We'll, uh, we'll see. See, Craig? The craft room's currently the living room. I know, my craft room is currently the living room. So I have to be thankful for small mercies because I've literally taken over most of the house. <laughs> okay, let's see what we can do. I think... I'm going to go for some, maybe some purplies. I'm hoping I'm not going to disturb my dog here. I'll grab. Um, a grape soda, maybe, for my, for my cardstock here. And I'm going to trim this down to eight inches by... Um, what's that? Is that three and a half? So I need seven. You three and a half or you three? You're a three. Okay. So I'm going to go six inches. This way. And eight inches a long ways. But I need to just extend my guillotine here. So bear with me. It's a bit noisy. And this is going to be the base of my card. <laughs> Candy's listening while she works. Chit chat. That's all right. And you know I'll do enough talking for the both of us, girl. <laughs> Stacy says sinks are so important, especially when you're using things like texture, paste, and stencils, and even things like watercolors. I agree. I really used to. Um, run from the craft room into the kitchen in the old house. All right. So this is going to be my little panel to go on top here. And I think I'm going to actually cut this and add some ink. And I'm feeling a bit inky today. My blind's here. Hello. So let me go and grab some cardstock. I wonder if my Claire Fontaine will be big enough. Oh, I think it will. 5.8 by 8.3. Oh, that's definitely 
a bonus point if um, for using the old middle thighs of the stitch slimline trios. If it will fit on my paint on, awesome. Could even get two in there maybe. Oh, I think we could. If we're very frugal and careful with our blending. Let's see. Hey, Tally. Tally says a quick hello. Let me see if this is going to work. Hi, Tally. <laughs> How you doing? Um, and Tally says, I hope you have fun crafting. Thank you so much. I'm sure I will. <laughs> so let's get this on the go. I'm going to trim this down as close as I can. You all right? Did you find a setting? Uh, I'm not sure. Minutes. What was it on? Oh, 10 minutes. That's no good. Minutes. Yes. Yeah. No, 30 minutes is not ideal. Did you Google it to see if there was a an answer? Oh, pooper. Mustard seed and squeeze lemonade is what I'm going to go for there. Bring some yellow tones into this bit of card and I think I'll just blend it up. Oh, watch my drink. Blend it up into my white. Tally says waves. Yeah, waves back. Iris says, it's been a while. Hi, Iris. Uh, since I could catch one of these. Happy crafting. Yay, I'm Bunny. Oh, no, Blue Brumby is here. Thought I was a car in my eye and I thought it was Bunny. What is everyone's go-to card size? Oh, you generally work with six by six. Six by six is actually um, a card size that I very, very rarely would use. Sometimes I do five by five or five and a half by five, but six by six, I don't think I've done that in such a long time. Crazy. It's really interesting to know what everybody's go-to is. Mine's A2, five and a half by four and a quarter. But, think like the rest of the world at the moment uh, I'm really enjoying slim lines Pam says A2 but been opening up to square cards where are you off to buddy off to see what daddy's off where he's off to Okay, so I'm going to actually add some splatters onto this. Amanda says, I'm all about mini slim lines right now. What is that? Three and a quarter by six and a quarter. That sounds really cute. Let's see if I can find. Hold it. Add a little bit of splatter to that. And I'll leave it to, to work its magic for a second. Margaret's living A7, which is uh, five inches by seven inches. That's another card size that I have very, very done. The good thing about um, having that as a card size is that there's actually quite a lot of uh, like real estate. So, pardon. Um, quite a lot of real estate, so you get um, a lot of space. Bear with me. Sorry about that. Ranger obviously thought that somebody was coming to get him. <laughs> this is mainly doing A2 as well. And Gail says, I refuse to buy into changing into slim line cards. <laughs> mm -hmm. I am normally the one that um, is in that camp as well. I'm the person 
that is like, um, you know, everybody's all about skinny jeans. And I'm like, no, I don't want skinny jeans. And then about a year later, I'm like, why did nobody tell me about skinny jeans? <laughs> but it was just me being, um, yeah, just me being uh, resistant, <laughs> I think. I've fallen out of love with skinny jeans now. Skinny jeans is not my thing anymore. It's not for me anymore. Now I'm all about the, the legging. <laughs> all about the comfort. Something nice and soft. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to cope whenever I, you know, need to go back to some sort of, um, you know, socialising setting. I'm just going to have to invest in a really nice selection of dresses or something because I don't think I'm going to cope otherwise. Okay, so I have some um, watercolours here. Ooh, trying to catch up. Pam from Stella Craft says that she's not ready to buy some like card supplies yet. Haven't really made one, but everything I have is a two, she says. Let me see if I can find my other my other watercolors. Yeah. Gonna mix up a little bit of a purpley. I'm not doing a very good job of obviously not used these watercolours in a while. Gail says, Stacey. <laughs> oh my goodness. I actually wasn't into slim lines until everybody kept asking for slim lines. I was like, okay, I get the hint. <laughs> it's nice to... um. Do something different though. Mix it up a little bit. And here we go, I like pink. We'll do pinky first of all. Oh, I hope I don't get on my t-shirt. <laughs> Stacey says I'll just stretch my dyes instead. Absolutely. That's always a definitely a, a fun thing to do. Candy says I do slim line, mini slim, A2, and I rotate depending on the idea or the stamp or the stencil. Gail's all about the leggings like me. Yeah, sister. Woo! You can't, I just need to be comfy. This crafting takes it out of you. <laughs> can't be comfy. <laughs> Isn't that right? Let's see. That is a blue, that is not a purpley. There, this is a purple, that will do. Little swatches, it probably looks quite dark to you guys. I might mix it up with some water. And a bit of the uh, white as well. Create more of a pastel -y tone. Let's see how that goes. Just trying to make it mix up. Stellar Crafts Pan says, I still have my skinnies. Oh, your skinny jeans. Yeah, I just feel really um, claustrophobic. <laughs> I never so feel so like I'm squeezed in. Probably because I've got a bit of COVID belly going on, you know, I think a lot of us have at the moment. <laughs> Um, and Pam says, not, a, not, totally not about the mom jean. Yeah, my, my friend Alexia had some mom jeans on and I was like, you just look really nice. And she said, oh, these are mom jean. So then I went and I picked out, I went to shop, saw some, and I was like, I'm going to try these. And I, I stood there and I just was like, oh, these are not for me. <laughs> so, no, I'm not about the mom jean either. <laughs> Amanda says, I prefer skinnier jeans when I'm skinnier. Yeah. 
Maybe that's the problem, ladies. But you know what? It doesn't really matter. I'd just rather be comfy. I uh, was thinking about this. I was watching, watching Gilmore Girls and Lorelei was strutting around in high heels. And I was thinking, oh, she's always wearing her high heels. And I thought, I, I've probably in my life worn high heels less than about 60 times because I'm not a high heel girl, high heel kind of girl. Awesome. Stacey says slim lines are a little scary, so much to fill. But like every, everything, you can always break it down, do a little bit at a time. And um, although it's so much to fill, it's it's a different kind of aspect and things. It's a, it's a different layout. So I think it gets the creative juices going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stacey says, I must say, going back to the classroom is difficult simply because I couldn't wear sweatpants anymore. Yep, I hear you. I, um, I think there's probably quite a few people at the moment that is uh, feeling that too. Amanda says, I love working from home, getting dressed is optional. Amanda says, I mean, Jasmine says working from home is the best. <laughs> Ness is here too. Hey, Ness. Right, let's see if this is going to work. Lush. Ah, <gasps> so good. Gail says, I haven't worn high heels since the 80s. I'm going to be running left, right and centre of these cameras, timing out naughty things. Sally says, tunic top over leggings is my plan for back to the office. That's a great idea. Love it. Stacey says she absolutely has COVID belly. Um, was six, six stone, that's nothing, in the beginning of the pandemic and now 7.3. Yeah. Um, wait, I don't know. I actually don't know anything about weight. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't know anything at all about weight. All right, so this I'm going to put around about here. And my idea is that I'm going to put some little envelopes using slimline mini mail dies. So let's grab some cardstock. Let's see what we're going to do. I think a light pink would be great. We'll do a little bit of pink. I'm not going to use that one because that's a good slimline panel. So I'm going to use this. Oh, there's a wee piece there. Yep, I use this piece here for some pink and maybe a blue as well for some fun. And what else? Should we go for maybe a mint? Color. Go for a gray. I think maybe a mint would be nice. I actually only have a very small bit of mint left, so that works. Need to raid the shelves in the shop. Random question, I'm trying to catch up here. Random question for everyone in the US. I'm getting ready to place my first ever happy little order, yay! Is the wait horribly long? Patience is not my strong point. I don't think so. Um, I, the problem is I can't make any promises because it depends where you are, you're in the US, right? So, mo and also depends when we ship it with, by Royal Mail, 
it'll go to uh, it'll it'll arrive it'll leave it'll leave um what's it called Heathrow or something or Stansted here and then it will fly over to America and it'll go to certain points. It might go to LA, it might go to Washington, kind of depending on the vicinity you're in. So if you are fairly close to one of those points, then it's not gonna take very long at all. And if it is, if you're kind of more further away from that and it's gonna to have to travel by either another airplane or travel by road for a bit then you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer oh my gosh did that move obviously talking and not paying attention um it royal mail says it takes five to ten working days but i have to say that there has been um a lot of real positive feedback with people saying oh my gosh it's here already and it hasn't taken as long as they expected so yay amanda says stacy my orders get here in a week in california i've ordered from a usa distributor on the same day and got my order from leslie first <laughs> Yay! But like I say, I can't make any promises. <laughs> so there you go. Um, Stacy says, "Oh, I'm closest to Washington." Oh, okay, cool. So that sounds good. Sounds real good. Also, like last year, it was in there was like loads of delays because of. Um, everything coming in was going through like customs and no, no one was prepared and no one was um, at full capacity but now everything seems to be really back on track so we're not seeing any like delays anywhere thankfully which is always a good sign right let me go and hunt down my hunt down my pink again Jasmine says, I'm loving these camera switches. We get to <laughs> we get to see all of you from time to time. I know, it's so fun. You get to see me walk around my craft room as well. We were hoping that Ranger would stay in here and play with us, but Vegas can't be choosers. <laughs> Jen's here. Hey, Jen. Jen, I wanted to say that um, on Monday morning, uh, Morgan and I started our week off with the Heffy Doodle blog hop, and we loved your video. We absolutely loved it. You did such a great job. And any of you guys, if you didn't get a chance to check it out, Jen over on her channel, Scrabina. Please correct me if it's not right. Um, I want to say Scrap Vina Creations. Um, did a video all about our new uh, Slimline number 10 die, envelope number 10 die. Um, and she showed lots of different ways and lots of different configurations that you can put the, the envelope together. And she did a cracking job. So you got to check that out afterwards. It was so good. In fact, everybody on um, everybody who was part of the hop did an amazing job. Jen says, "Yay! Thank you. Love the semi envelope dies. Yep, yep, yep. That's the right way to say it. Good job." Right, so put my bubblegum blush over there. Oh, and these little scrappies can go over there too. Right up. So. These are the little envelopes from the Slimline Mini Mail. Now, what I will say is if you're impatient, you might want to just go ahead and bend them straight away. But what you'll see is that it'll want to bend along the full stitching. And you don't really want that. What you want is to make sure that it is properly creased. So don't be lazy. Just take out 
your bone folder and crease along the lines that appear. The die puts a little crease in it. But it's not a very deep crease. That means that you can get a lovely crisp fold here and then still keep that We'll keep that real nice stitching on if I can zoom in here. Doesn't want to do it. Don't want other camera lens on today, so it doesn't want to do it. That's fine. Now we will do that with everyone. Actually, it'll not matter too much because I'm going to be using these. this way around so it won't really matter for today even if it did fold along that crease but just out of best practice <laughs> i'll do it use my bone folder and these little envelopes are adorable when it comes to creating little notes little tiny cards you could turn on the end to look like a mini slimline envelope. Oh yeah, totally. It does look like a mini slimline envelope. How cute is that? Adorable. Now that's really a mini, mini, mini slimline. <laughs> I've seen some people take the um, slimline dies like this and then fold them in half to create a little uh, skinny, little skinny, small, mini slimline. And I've also seen on Amazon, they sell, I think they call it money wallets. On Amazon in the UK, they had like a selection of a hundred money wallets, but in different colors. And then it fits perfectly that little mini slimline which is a slimline die folded in half. Might have to invest in some of them. <laughs> we have someone on Twitch here. FaZe, hey, how you doing? <laughs> Nessa says slimline on slimline. Absolutely, how meta of us. All right. Fold these over, right. That's my fold and done for the moment. Let's grab a sip of tea. And I'm going to stick these together. That should be easy to fill. Yeah, absolutely. A little um, like half size would be absolutely really, really easy to fill. All right, so I'm going to stick these together um, to create the little envelope shape. So I'm going to grab Mr. Globert. Ah, here you go, coin envelope. That's probably what it was, Amanda, to be honest. It says, in the US, look for a number seven coin envelope. Perfect. I've added some glue there. Let's put that on there to stick it down. Um, the thing about this envelope as well, I don't, don't know if you realize, but you can have the curved section at the bottom and then the flap is a pointed flap. Or you could have it like this with a sort of a narrower opening and a rounded flap if you wanted it that way. Up to you, I'm going to put the pointy end as the flap. Oops, I've been a mess here. Daisy says, thanks, Pear Blossom. Not sure what your name is. Your name is Amanda. I'll just put something heavy on that for a second. And the same here. Built down the side there, so I'm just going to use the edge of my nozzle. Oh, 
All right. So next up, I'm going to do some stamping, but I am going to use the popping by stamp set. So let me go and grab that because I thought it would be really fun if this little critter was popping out of the envelope. How cute is that? I don't think that's going to be really, really adorable that it looks like he's popping out of the envelope. So I'm going to have my foxy pop out. And I'm also going to go and uh, grab the, um, the exclusive stamp set we did for Simon Says Stamp because, uh, and it was called Filled With Love. I think I spoke to you guys about it a little bit last week. And it's very similar that you have little, little animals with their paws. So hopefully I've got a dog and a cat that I can add to my little stash. So this set has a dog, a cat, a reindeer, a penguin, and a snowman. I am going to use, oh, in fact, I can totally cheat because I have some here. What have I got? I have kitty. Oh no, they're stuck to each other. Okay, I have a kitty. I have another kitty. We have lots of kitties, apparently. Three kitties, but well, I only need one kitty. Put these guys back in. And I'll grab the doggo. Blue Brumbry says, where are you originally from, Leslie? Loving your accent, but can't place it at the moment. <laughs> ah, does anybody else want to guess? I'm sure plenty of you know. I am... Uh, <laughs> so Stacey says, sounds Scottish-Irish. So you're, you're pretty much bang on. So I am Irish, but Northern Ireland. And I studied in Scotland. but I studied French and went to France to teach French, no, to speak, to teach English, sorry. So I actually had to tone down my accent in order to teach English. Where I come from originally, it's not a very broad accent. It's quite, um, quite soft anyway. And yeah, so then we, I, I studied in Scotland, so and Craig's my husband's Scottish. And then we um, moved to England after uni for work. And then just this year, we moved back to Scotland again. So already I can feel my accent picking up little, little Scottish colloquialism. <laughs> Daisy says, I keep forgetting that this is not Zoom. <laughs> and you keep you keep replying to what I say out loud. Oh, that's hilarious. I love that. I love that a lot. Okay. Let's get some markers on the go. I'm going to use my nouveaux today. Because I have not played with my nouveaux in such a long time. So I think... They deserve a little bit of loving tonight, so let's give them a whistle. We're going to have our little foxy. The foxy is a bit bigger proportionately than the others. But that's okay. We'll just make him the main element of my card. <laughs> this is, I've been wondering the same. And uh, also says, do you speak Irish or Gaelic? No, I do not speak um, any sort of Gaelic. They don't teach it in Northern Ireland. They teach it in, well, they do in some schools, mostly like convents and things, but I didn't go to a convent school. Um, um, and they do mostly down the south of them. Um, South of Ireland. 
Right. So I've been looking for some reddish browns, but I've mostly found browns. Okay, we'll keep going until we can, and we'll orangeify it with an orange tone. There we go, that looks good. Just English, yeah, we speak English. <laughs> At least I try. <laughs> Lizzie says, no, no, I mean the original Gaelic. I promise it's a language. Yes, I know. Oops, there goes my um, other camera. Oh, is it going to work? All right, give me a second. So that's hay bale. Where's my garlic clove? Oh, Sandcastle might do. Sandcastle brings some sort of warm tones into this boy. See little cutie boy. And then I need a nose. It's so cute. Go press this button. I'm back. Oh, there we go. I'm back. <laughs> I was a little bit premature on that little wave there. All right. So let's go with, I think we should have a ranger dog back here, even though he has abandoned me, probably lying up in bed. I'll go with some rich mahogany. And some areas. And hay bale is a bit more, a bit lighter. I think I'll need a tone to blend them two together. It's kind of more of an orangey tone, the hay bale. What else do I have? Brown sugar. Nice. Brown sugar is actually really nice. Blue Brumby says, are you crafting standing up? Is that your default craft pose? <laughs> yeah, I do. I do craft standing up. Um, I have actually crafted standing up for such a very long time. Um, but I hurt my back. Oh gosh, Jasmine, how long ago was it? Was it like six years or something like that? And um, I had to have surgery. And ever since then, I actually, uh, when I sit down for a long time, I struggle. So standing up, I, I prefer standing up, absolutely. So if I sit for a long time, I get like sciatica and pains down my, down my leg. So standing, I can stand all day. And in fact, I do pretty much stand all day. Oh, well, there you go. Does anybody else stand up when they're crafting? I'd like to know. Is it just me? <laughs> um, Blue Brumby says, what kind of pens are you using? So these are um, the Nuvo alcohol markers. What are they called? Are they just called Nuvo markers? I think they are just called Nuvo markers. Um, so there's lots of different types of alcohol markers and that just means that instead of being water-based, they're based with um, alcohol. And the great thing about alcohol markers is that the um, alcohol makes the liquidness kind of absorb really quickly, and but you can also blend them really nicely together and uh, you get some really gorgeous blended results. And, and these ones are actually on the cheaper end of the spectrum because some alcohol markers like for example Copics they are um, more expensive I mean I'm not saying that they're outrageously expensive because um, I think like many things not everything is created equal but if using um, alcohol markers is something that you are keen on trying out the Nuvo markers is a really good price point to, for, for testing. Well, I think that they're great. 
And the other thing is that they come in, they come in trios. So you can buy like a bundle of three pinks and they all blend really well. So it's so good. <laughs> Not English language, that's obvious, but English accent. I like the English. Oh, I see. Yeah. My daughter is very, very English. She was born in England. Daisy says she's never even considered standing up. <laughs> and Jasmine's off to bed. Night, night, dear. How busy you early tomorrow. Oh, my goodness. Do you remember the franking machine that caused my shoulder pain? It still does. It's got really bad. Oh, my goodness. That's not crazy. What would Tony Walker say? <laughs> Marjolaine says that she's crafting standing and she has to stand up all the time to get to something, but it works better for her. I realized that this stamp set was the Simon stamp set and I don't actually have a die for that. So I'll have to do it the old fashioned way. I remember, oh, a long time ago now, before Pipe was born, so over 10 years ago, um, we were in a... Uh, in, a, in a house in Guildford and I remember asking um, asking Santa to bring me a bar stool with a tall back on it so that at the tall table where I would where I would craft I could just sit and rest for a few moments I didn't want the lower table I loved I love being able to walk around the craft room that's something that um, I actually really enjoy is over there and grab it out of the cupboard and come back that kind of thing I get really frustrated if I'm you know on a in a chair pushed in under the table and it um I need to push the chair back out and go and grab something that that's not for me there we go Yes, Jasmine, feel better soon. <laughs> Marcy says she crafts sitting down. All righty. So I think we might go for a gray kitty just to have a little bit of variety. Or if we do that, we have actually got a kind of different tones. If I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Let's see. Brumby says she crafts sitting down, but I think I'd enjoy standing up if I had table tall enough. But I actually, um, I, I cheat because this table goes down and goes up. <laughs> so I can actually change it depending on what I want. I'm not sure if I would consider that a cheat though, but... <laughs> It is definitely handy. And that was a that was a purchase from my last work after I hurt my back because I, uh, I did a risk assessment and the health and safety officer I was asking me how I was getting on and I said I just struggled so much. I, I think I was at my desk with a cardboard box. Uh, sitting on my desk and my laptop on the cardboard box like this and he was like what is that I was like I just need to keep moving yeah I need to move around and I, said, I need to get one of those sit stand and he just went just do it approve so I didn't waste any time I just went ahead and ordered it <laughs> and then when I left I was like I'm taking my desk with me <laughs> Iris says I craft sitting down but have everything within reach so I don't have to get up yeah, you're smart. I have too many things in my craft room. That's no problem. Too many things to have everything within reach. So I have my three little envelopes. I think I want to put something behind them. So in an ideal world, I would have these are the little apertures that you get from cutting out the slimline trios. Or maybe I can use the crafty essentials or something. 
or the stitch stars. What will we have a look? Okay, I'm just having a look to see if I can find the mini craft essential dies, mini essential dies even. There is a, like a scallop circle in there, which I think would be really cool. Here we go. If it's the right size. Now, I think that would be cool. And I'm just going to cut it out of white and stick it on. So let's do that. And the good thing about cutting it out of white is that you can just use the scratch card. Oh, you guys, did you, did anybody see? Um, we did a Instagram story and a couple of photos um, earlier this week because Morgan, who is the newest Heffy Doodle recruit, she finally, finally, um, after what, three weeks? It's been busy, busy with the release, but she finally got to craft. So um, I said to her, forget about everything else that is on the list. We've got all our customers the same to the shops, the shop orders, the retailers, they can wait. Let's craft. And I was telling her all about different paper, all about different um, types of stamps and um, different, all the different um, mediums. I mean, I didn't get through all of them, but I, I, I talked about different inks. That was that we did inks and she did some ink blending with some distress inks and she used the uh, Dino Time stamps and dies and she made a card and we shared it over on Instagram and you know what she did such a great job so proud of her <laughs> Iris says uh not Iris Stacy says I'm trying to do that too get everything within reach which is why I'm considering the heifer doodle mini die cutting machine Definitely, you'll find it just takes up so much less room on your uh, craft desk. And you'll see as well for me, watching me craft, I still have to go over, you know, over here behind me and use my Gemini Junior for the bigger dies. But most of the time, I can talk to you lovely ladies and gentle peeps and just use my little die cutting machine here. Use it all the time. All the time. All right. And this die set here, which is the mini essentials die. Let me take it out and rearrange it. Uh, this set you can get as part of a promotion. So you can buy the machine on its own, or you can get the machine and this die set for like a bundle deal so you pay an extra 10 pounds and you get this die set which is normally worth something like I don't know 19 pounds or something like that and even at that the 19 pounds is a reduced this would normally be 23 let's put that up there Mm -mm -mm. Nessa saying she's in Wales. She is indeed. <laughs> and Stacey says, isn't it great when you recruit a new crafter? Absolutely. But um, she she's not really a crafter. I think she probably, it won't be long until, until we convince her that she is a crafter. <laughs> um, but she she has done she said in her interview and things that she would you know, crack out the stamps at christmas time for doing um 
like wrapping paper and things like that. She would she would crack out the stamps for wrapping paper and things. Um, and whenever she came here, I think she, she she said to me on like the first or second day, she was like, "Remember I said that I've done some stamping? This is a different kind. This is a different level." She said. <laughs> I know, I know, honey. <laughs> Just want to add a little bit of color to this. It's quite stark. It's quite Rob Stark. A little Game of Thrones humor there. <laughs> And Stacey says, yes, Carrie Road showed us that. It's what introduced me to you guys. Oh, yay. Carrie's amazing. And I love her videos as well. Vanessa says, got my pre-order. Yay. Yes, we managed to get them all sent out last week. We were very grateful to get them all out the door. <laughs> All right, here I have three little, they're not apertures, they're three little panels. And I'm going to put them a little bit of a jaunty angle, I think. Maybe we'll put the middle one straight. I think that's cute. Don't you think that's cute? I think it's cute. Lady Stark. <laughs> oh, yes. G G o T give it. Oh, yes. Uh, has anyone been enjoying WandaVision? And um, Falcon and Winter Soldier. We finished WandaVision. I loved it. I thought it was so fun. Nearly threw blueberry in my hand there. Um, started the... Started the boys one, started 